Hello and welcome. Today I'll be doing a swing stay analysis on the state of Colorado. But before we get started, please go subscribe. We're currently at 376 subscribers. We're 24 away from our goal by election day, which is four days away. So go and subscribe and let's get started. So I'll be doing an analysis on Colorado, a Trump win and a Biden win. This state is highly likely to go to Biden. I'd give Biden probably a 97% chance of winning the state, but I will still do a map for a Trump victory from the 2016 election and 2018 re election results. I'll be reflecting how counties will go. And we're going to start off over here in Garfield County, which went to Trump by six, and it went to Jared Powell, uh, not Powell, Powell Ellis by uh, one and a half. So Trump would have to get this in the likely column if he is going to win the state. Biden is likely to probably not win it yet because that was a Democratic wave year, very narrow margin, but it'd probably be close. In La Plata County, it went to Jared Paulus by 14. It went to Hillary Clinton by 9. This will go likely either way. In San Juan County, it went to Hillary Clinton by 10. And it went to Jared Paulus by like 23. Okay, so this is another county likely but safe in a Biden victory. And... Warrior County, it went to Hillary Clinton by 11, and it went to Jared Paulus by 20. Likely and safe. And Quan, uh, Conyos County, it went to Trump by 3, and it went to Stapleton by 3 as well. This is a county that Trump would have to get in the likely column. And it'd be lean in a bind victory. And almost uh, county it went to Hillary Clinton by three. And it went to Jared Paulus by six. This county Trump will have to flip if he's to win the state. And this will go lean Biden in a bind victory. And uh, Sagashe County went to Jared Paulus by 19. It went to Hillary Clinton by 10. Likely and safe. In Mineral County, it went to Trump by 16, and it went to Stapleton by 10. Safe, likely. In Lamanas County, it went to Trump by 15, and it went to Stapleton by 1. So safe and likely. In Hufrano County, it went to Paulus by three, and it went to Trump by six. So likely and lean Trump. In Pueblo County, Trump won it by one. And Polis won it by five. So this is a county Trump would have to gain his margin on if he's to win the state. This is most likely going to flip to Biden from Hillary Clinton not winning it. In Shafi County, went to Trump by four. And it went to Polis by four. This county Trump would have to expand his margin on to win and this is likely to flip this time around in a bind victory. In Lake County, it went to Hillary by 10, and it went to uh, Polis by 24. Likely safe. In Grand County, it went to Trump by 13, and it went to uh, Stapleton by 3 likely lean and clear creek county went to hillary clinton by three it went to jerry polis by 13 flipping a trump victory likely in a biden victory 
in Gallupin County. It went to Hillary by two, and it went to Polis by 12. Lean, likely. In Jefferson County, went to Hillary Clinton by six, shifted Democrat, and it continued to shift into 2018 with 13.1 13 for Polis. So probably a lean and likely margin. In Broomfield County, it went to Hillary Clinton by 14, and it went to Jared Polis by 22. Likely and safe. We're down to the final five counties now. In Douglas County, it went to Trump by 20, and it went to... Stapleton by 16. Safe and safe. In Opero County, it went to Trump, uh, Hillary Clinton by 14, and it went to Polis by 18. Likely and safe. In Adams County, it went to Polis by 14, and it went to Hillary Clinton by Eight. This is a county that would have to be narrowed up for a Trump victory, but is likely not to happen. Likely in a Biden victory. And Weld County went to Donald Trump by about 22, and it went to Stapleton by 21. So about the same margin. In Fort Collins or Lamere County, it went to Hillary by 5, and it went to Polis by 13, so lean, likely. So these are the two different maps. There's five pivot counties. The five pivot counties to watch on election night is Almosa County, Pueblo County, Shafe County, Also, Clare Creek County, Galpin County, and that is all. That's a Trump victory. That's a Biden victory. Now, moving on to the exit polls to show what types of voters need to vote for who to win. Um, uh, in the among gender, Trump won males by only eight. He would have to win them even further and. Hillary Clinton won females by 16 that is likely to expand and Trump is uh, likely to stay around the same margin but he'd have to expand if he has a chance in the state to at least match the female vote or slightly have a higher vote total among age it shows that all ages voted for Hillary Clinton Trump would have to probably win over the 30 to 44, the 45 to 64, and the 65 and older, which narrowly went to Clinton. Last time around, Trump would have to narrowly flip them. Among race, Trump didn't do too well among whites compared to the national average. He would have to win whites by probably at least... 10 points with also staying the same or even increasing the Latino support to about 30 to 35. Among education, Trump would also have to expand his high school or less, which is likely to happen, and keep and grow the sum college in, and keep the margins where it's at for college grads and postgraduates. In income, Trump would have to flip over the fifty to two hundred thousand dollar income level and keep the same margins of the under thirty to thirty to forty uh, thirty to fifty thousand dollar incomes. In party ID, Trump did win over independents, but not by the margin he needed to. He'd have to probably win them by about ten to flip the state. Now, going down to 
area type, Trump would have to win the suburban areas, and he's likely to expand the rural area support and keep the same margin in urban area. So that's how he would win the state. Biden is highly, highly likely to win, and probably with a similar map looking like this, maybe slightly different, but I expect Biden to win the state. Thanks for watching. Please go like, comment, and subscribe. We're only 24 away from hitting 400, so please go subscribe. Thanks for watching.